Well, Abundant Living Faith Center is a very large, multicultural, non-denominational church. We've been in operation since 1977, pastored by my parents, uh, Charles and Rochelle Neiman. And um, we have a, a membership of around 30 to 35,000 people. This room is, I believe, 3,561 seats to be exact. Uh, so it's obviously, it's very big. There's, as you can see, there's stadium seating. There's about 1,150 seats on the floor and then about 2,000 in the risers. We do a bunch of different things with the uh, LED panels. Um, you know, most of the time it's a video background, uh, some sort of looping background that we'll put during our worship, uh, praise and worship uh, set. Um, though at times though we'll, we'll run cameras, we'll run iMag on the LED panels, uh, you know, with the, the software that we use and we can get some uh, really interesting, cool looking shots. Once the church decided to go with a LED video wall, they decided that they wanted high def and they, that they wanted to go for a pixel for pixel layout, so that resulted in the choice um, of a wall that consists of 11 panels high by 20 panels wide, uh, 1920 by 1080, and uh, that's approximate dimension of about 38 feet wide by about 19 feet tall. If you look at it, it's an extremely powerful uh, piece in our room. And so um, it really captures attention. We had standard front projectors and uh, they were kind of hitting the end of their life. Well, not kind of, they, they were dying. <laughs> there was a lot of discussion uh, before we got the LED panels on uh, whether we wanted to go LED or not. Uh, Previously, we, our center screen location was projection, and uh, when we were making the decision to switch to LED, we kind of had to sit there and weigh the pros and cons of, um, you know, LED was going to be much more expensive than projection, but, you know, what would be the positives of switching to LED? MGA maintained a, a working relationship with uh, ALFC and I became friends with uh, the pastors and the technical staff and so we worked fairly frequently with them over the past several years in uh, maintaining the systems that we installed and when the time came to replace the original uh, projectors that we installed um, there was discussion about whether to replace them with projectors or with an LED video wall it basically came down to do we just re-up on our projectors or do we go in a new direction, uh, which is really where the world is going with LED. Of course, we all know that LED has more of an upfront cost. However, we began to weigh the differences and um, when you really study the LED wall, although it has an up more, more of an upfront cost, it has almost a two to three time lifespan uh, of what the standard projector would cost. So when you did the math, the total actual cost was almost the same. They considered another uh, smaller company that imports panels as well from China, and uh, as well as Alation. And so to my knowledge, they considered three different manufacturers. And um, MGA, um, in these situations works real hard to be objective and give the church good counsel. And we, we recognize the financial pressure and the attractiveness of purchasing some items um, at a great deal. And churches in particular feel a lot of pressure that way because they rarely have the budget to uh, finance their dreams. So they're very creative, they like to do awesome things, but it's difficult to afford that because after all, they're not a Vegas casino. Uh, we always weigh the ministry impact of every decision, um, major decision um, that we're looking at. And so when it came to uh, making the decision between uh, projectors or LED panels or even 
the other companies that we were uh, researching as far as LED technology, uh, we wanted to make the best decision, not the most expensive decision, not the cheapest decision, but what the best decision was for us. These uh, less expensive um, products were attractive, but MGA's concern was serviceability over the long haul. What happens when you purchase a sophisticated product and the software breaks down or the hardware itself, um, how are you going to affect service? And as a dealer, our hands are tied if we're not working with a, um, a manufacturer or distributor who's able and willing to stand behind the product. Um, we, we could be all kinds of committed to take care of our client, but if stuff breaks that we don't have parts for, we, don't, we didn't design it, we didn't build it, we don't know how to fix it, then we can't help our client. So um, I informed the church of that and said, these are the, the things you have to weigh. You can save some money, but you're taking a risk. And in the end, through some back and forth effort and discussion, um, the church leadership decided that they would rather pay more and have the security of not only MGA standing behind to service the product, but a reputable manufacturer who's planted in the U.S. and has a reputation for taking care of their product, and Elation was that choice. We do a lot of very big, uh, very powerful productions, and it has just revolutionized how we do the productions because it basically has become part of the scene. Uh, in these productions we have uh, very large sets and to create the mood, the atmosphere, the environment. Well we found that the video wall uh, really helped create it better than what our sets were doing. You know one of the things that we noticed right away with the LED panels was that we could create uh, scenic imagery behind our actors or even our musicians uh, while they were on stage and it was really uh, instrumental into tying everything together and it making sense you know before our center projection screen uh, was 12 feet off the floor and so uh, that was always just something kind of abstract or a supplemental type uh, imagery but when we switched to the LED panels and we were able to then uh, put them on the floor, the LED wall on the floor, um, it completely changed uh, you know, the first production that we did with it in that we could have the actors interact with the LED wall and it just took our productions to a whole new level that um, even we didn't expect them to, to, the panelists to do that. When you run video through them, they're just, it's just almost you can't take your eyes off of it. Um, so it really has enhanced it. Uh, as you know, we just got it, so we're really, we're still learning it. Our, our team is still getting used to it and exploring the programs and software that run it. And so kind of every week and month that we have it, they're finding new things to do. And, uh, you know, so it's very exciting, I, I think. Um, even six months from now, it'll it'll even be better because the, you know the longer you have something, the better you get at using it and running it. So we're very excited for that, and um, I would imagine most likely we'll we'll go all LED once our the other projectors des decide to hit the skids. <laughs>